What's up everybody? I'm at Four Pegs in Louisville, Kentucky. It's a beautiful day outside. It's about 10.30 in the morning now. Normally I would not be doing a food challenge this early in the day. Today, I'm gonna have some brunch. Now I've never done a brunch challenge. I've never even had brunch for that matter. So I cannot think of a better way to have my first brunch experience than to have prepared by an award-winning chef, pit master, and Food Network star. So we're going to go inside, we're going to have some brunch with the Kentucky Smokehouse Barbecue Twist, and I'll see you inside. A guy named Eli, he beat this challenge too. So this is it. This is the brunch menu here at Four Pegs. Everything looks so amazing that I would do a horrible job describing all this amazing food. So I'm going to give it to Chef Chris. He's the owner, the pit master, the Food Network star. He is everything. And um, we all know if we're going to get some of the best wings and ribs, you come here. I've never had brunch, so I can only imagine how good it's going to be. Yeah, you know, we put just as much love into the brunch as we do everything else. Uh, you got a lot of smoked meats on here. Uh, for instance, we got our smoked and fried chicken and waffles. So we smoked that chicken, uh, then we bread it in a nice little breading and deep fried with some waffles and strawberries. And that's our bash sauce, which is our oh. bourbon and strawberry habanero sauce. So you get some heat and sweet there. That might be my pre-game favorite. I'm a big chicken and waffle guy. So. Uh, let's see, we've got a chicken on a biscuit, which is the same kind of deal. It's smoked chicken and then fried. we got a fried egg on there, a little hot sauce and honey on our house-made cheddar biscuit. Uh, our, this, so our, one of our best sandwiches is our turkey club. Okay. Uh, so we wanted to do a breakfast version of that, so we went with a Monte Cristo. So you got our smoked turkey, uh, there's bacon jams, raspberry syrup, oh, on man. a French toast with some provolone and cheddar. I love the sweet flavor. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, breakfast burger. Yes. So that's going to have pork belly burn ends on it. Uh, fried egg, our double mm. smash patty, um, and some barbecue sauce. Oh, wow. And then the hangover, I'm sorry, pork belly hash. So we got our pork belly burn ends, a little bit of our chipotle barbecue sauce, some fried eggs over some breakfast taters. Mm. Uh, and then we got our hangover scramble. So this has kind of got like a little bit of everything in it. Uh, it's got bacon and sausage, and our uh, award winning chili, some yeah. beer cheese, all over the taters. Soak up anything you had the night before and get you ready to go. I love that chili. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, you may remember it wasn't a great video on my part, but the uh, he has the greatest burger challenge and it has the amazing chili on that. It's my first video I ever made, so unfortunately it was, the quality wasn't that great, but the food was phenomenal. You have to do it again since you're one of only three people out of like 160 to eat that. Right, so. it's, man, it's delicious. <laughs> And what is this? Oh, that's, that's our uh, brisket belt. So it's brisket our brisket. Uh, it's got our horse, house-made horsey sauce, some beer cheese, and then we put a, uh, everything seasoning on the top bun. So yeah, it's just a mm. nice little ooey gooey deliciousness. Well, I'm definitely not going to leave here hungry, but right now I am starving. <laughs> Dive in, man. Enjoy. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, brother. Hey, guys. So I don't even know where to begin with this. I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of my favorites. This is the chicken and waffles. Every bit of this is gonna be amazing, so let's dive in. See, I do not know where to begin. I guess we'll start with what's in front of me. Take a look at that. Wow. Get in here. Oh my God. I'm using a normal fork. Just wanna enjoy the food. Yeah, there is no need to rush this one. These are some of my favorite foods all on one table. Now, if you could only smell these dishes, you would be hooked. This is going to be a great day. So this is the pork belly hash, and the pork belly is great. It's juicy, smoky, and there is a lot of it. And while the pork belly is definitely the star of the dish, the fried potatoes are perfect. They're crisp, well seasoned, and the egg yolk and the barbecue sauce makes this incredible combination to dip them in. Now earlier in the video there is a clip of their wing and rib leaderboard and I often tell people that this is by far the best deal in all of Louisville, probably Kentucky for that matter. 
Chris has Wing Wednesday nights where you can indulge in all you can eat smoked wings for just $20. Now, I'm not talking about those puny wings like other restaurants try to push on you. No, these are huge, delicious wings. And on Thursday nights, he has all you can eat ribs for $25, and they are amazing. Both the wings and the ribs have leaderboards where you can try to eat the most in one sitting or even eat the most throughout the year and both get you an awesome prize and even better food. Let's try this brisket sandwich here. The brisket was super tender, it literally fell apart as I bit into it. The beer cheese added even more richness to the sandwich and the house made horsey sauce added just enough bite to cut through all those rich flavors. This is a sandwich I could eat any time of day. Can't sit it down. And that is something my dad would always say because if you sit it down, it's going to fall apart. Hey, I'm getting older and taking after him, but either way, this sandwich is so good that I don't want to let go of it anyway. Alright guys, let's go into this Monte Cristo. I've never had one of these. And this is their smoked turkey with uh, French toast, strawberry jam, provolone cheese. It's going to be good. Only I didn't know how good it was going to be. This is my first Monte Cristo and you're about to witness me in disbelief just how much I love this sandwich. Yeah, I love sweet and savory dishes and this had it all. The smoked turkey was super flavorful and juicy while the bourbon bacon jam added the sweet and salty combo. And how can you not love a sandwich using French toast to hold it all together? This is now my favorite breakfast sandwich, period. This is crazy good. Sweet and savory is my favorite combo and this sandwich has it all. I'll take six to go, please. Yeah, with food like this near me, I've accepted the fact that I'll never be a skinny man, but I will be a happy one. Now, have you had a Monte Cristo like this? And if so, how was it? Let me know in the comments below. Now for me, this gave me a new take on brunch food and what has been missing in my life. I think I'm gonna go to the chicken on a biscuit. Just had a really delicious, sweet, savory Monte Cristo. This is gonna be a little spicy, got a little hot sauce on it. Wouldn't want any other way. This is our homemade cheddar biscuit, smoked chicken, and then fried. So the chicken on a biscuit has always been a favorite of mine, and this was elevated with the smoked cheddar herb biscuit and the hot honey. The addition of the fried egg and the hot sauce sent it over the top. This is the best chicken on a biscuit that I have ever had. There's nothing wrong with this. In addition to this incredible food here, he does have a pretty amazing food challenge called the Greatest Burger. It comes with a 24 minute time limit because the theme is centered around Muhammad Ali, a Louisville native, and 24 minutes is the length of the fight, the rumble in the jungle. Very smoky, very, very good. Love the egg, love the hot sauce on there. This is obviously very crumbly, very good. This is a very thick sandwich, so with a little deconstructing, I am able to eat this. The biscuit is great, super flavorful and crumbly, so it makes it a little easier to eat it this way. Everybody. 
Rewatching this has me thinking I need to work a little more on my knife skills, but I'm also thinking about how I could eat this every day. The bash sauce is short for bourbon and strawberry habanero, and it has the perfect amount of sweetness and spice to it. And we're in Kentucky, so you know there has to be bourbon in it somewhere. It's different from anything I've ever had as far as chicken and waffles. The smokiness to the, uh, the chicken. It's got heat to it, which is really different, but I love it. It's spicy, but it's got the strawberries with it too, makes it a little bit sweet. Wow. Amazing. Do you have a favorite you, uh, you usually? Probably the first one. You didn't have to be bacon. I might do that then. Alright, I will. Thank you very much. just told me how good the French toast is, so we might be looking at that. Yeah, the bash sauce has habanero pepper in it, and this is the first time eating chicken and waffles with barbecue sauce. It was unlike anything I've ever had, and I really enjoyed it. So where are all of my chicken and waffle fans? If I see it on the menu, I will usually order it. There's just something so comforting about eating fried chicken with a little syrup grizzled over top. This was outstanding and it was the first time eating it with a little smoky and spicy twist. Now I absolutely loved it and I'll definitely be ordering this one again. So do you like a little spiciness to your chicken and waffles? So I am a sucker for a burger with a fried egg on it and this breakfast burger is a double smash burger with cheddar cheese, fried egg, and bacon jam. That's right, bacon jam. It also has a delicious pork belly burnt ends and it held it together on a cheddar biscuit. Wow. Hey, if you aren't drooling right now, you may want to get your eyes checked. Okay guys, so this is their hangover scramble. And this is a bunch of potatoes, scrambled eggs, beer, cheese, chili. This here is going to be good. Big chunks of meat in their chili, burnt ends. Big strips of brisket in there. 
Okay, and the hangover scramble is a great name as it is a heavy dish. Lots and lots of fried potatoes, scrambled eggs, sausage, and bacon. Then it's topped with their chili, which has brisket, chorizo, and pork belly in it. Then it's topped with beer cheese. This is a very tasty and very filling dish that will stick with you and keep you feeling full all day long. They're on it. Great place. Love this. And if you haven't been to Four Pegs, you are truly missing out. It is my favorite place here in the city and is now going to be seeing me weekend mornings as well. After all this food, I am still thinking about that sandwich. I can't believe it's taken me 40 years to discover it. Today was my first, but it definitely won't be my last. Hardy chili, potatoes, eggs, cheese. I can go on. And hangover or not, this is my kind of meal. Chili and cheese are just made for each other, but throw in some eggs and some delicious potatoes, and now you got a dish that will make everybody happy. So this is it. This is their French toast with strawberries. Um, Era said that it's her favorite, so she wants me to try it. I'm going to give it a shot. Can't be bad, right? And while I'm at it, um, next week is her birthday, so if you could drop down in the comments and wish her a happy birthday. By the time this video comes out, it will have already been her birthday. Got some bacon here, some French toast. Let's dive in. Yeah, I wanted to get this dish as it brought back some great childhood memories of eating breakfast on a Saturday morning, watching the Saturday morning cartoons, and just feeling on top of the world. Food will bring back memories better than anything, and I want to thank Chef Chris for taking me on this culinary experience. The menu is truly amazing, and he already knows this will not be my last time here. And I hope if you are in the Louisville area that you treat yourself to some of these wonderful creations. But I'm going to get off here, let you finish watching the video, and as always, have a blessed week. <laughs> I remember eating this as a kid. We never had uh, never had fruit on it. It's always just syrup and powdered sugar if you're lucky.
Okay guys, so that was the brunch menu here at Four Pegs. Everything was delicious. I love the Monte Cristo. I love the chicken and waffles. The chicken and biscuit. I loved everything, but those are probably my top three. Uh, love this French toast. Thanks to Kara for recommending that. Lots of potatoes at this brunch, so I did opt to not eat all the potatoes. They more or less told me that it was just there it's just to show off what the plate actually holds uh, or what, what the actual dish is. But uh, got to sample a little bit of everything and it was all delicious. I knew it would be. You got to come down to Four Pegs, give it a try. And uh, yeah, so if you like that, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.